Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are checking out the new Celestial Malkri. Now, I love this character's design. I think it's really cool. We do have a Ranger agility based, uh, damage based with also some control, which is nice. I think the design's wicked. I love the whole Silver Surfer vibe. Well, I, that's just my call. You're on a surfboard. It's pretty cool. I, I do like it. Now, the other thing we did just get in this update on the test server is the level 40 signature items. I'm gonna I'm gonna record this video. I'll put this up. Then I'll probably go to bed, get up in the morning, re read through a bunch of them, give you guys my opinions on the plus forties. I glanced at a few. A lot of them just looked like number increases, which I don't, I, I'll save it for another video. I, I just I haven't looked at it enough to have like a formed opinion about it yet. So we will discuss that in the in probably the next video that I make. But let's get into Malkri and her skills so passive her normal attacks issue a challenge to the enemy hero which cannot be dispelled enemies can only be issued one challenge and enemies without a challenge card will be given priority so she's going to just attack through enemies giving them these challenge cards and it does have a visual representation in combat active when all enemy heroes are issued a challenge malkri unleashes her ultimate and zooms towards them dealing damage for eight percent of their max health up to 260 percent of her attack rating and consuming each enemy's challenge this skill grants invincibility and can be triggered once every five seconds. When casting her ultimate, no energy will be consumed, but no additional energy will be obtained. Now, in one of her future skills, it goes on to what her energy actually does, but essentially her energy doesn't control her ult. It's once she gets all enemies to have this card, she will use it, but it is capped at once every five seconds because if you only got one enemy like a boss, otherwise she would just be like spamming ult like infinitely. So they have given it a once every five seconds usage. And then with skill ups, damage increased and then damage increased again, goes up to 12% with a capping on her attack. Next, we have a battle intel. Delivers one letter of intel to the allied hero with the lowest health percentage for four seconds. Each hero can hold one letter only. While holding, uh, while holding intel, allied heroes avoid their first instance of direct damage or health loss every two seconds. Honestly, not too bad if you're avoiding something big as well, especially. Uh, and then when an allied hero receives intel, they resonate with me, uh, Malkri, increasing their attack rating for 15% of her attack rating, her initial attack rating. Then at level three, we get it uh, extended to six seconds, which is a pretty good duration increase. Uh, like it's a like it may only look like a two second increase, but it's a fifty percent increase on that, which I think is decent. Uh, and then Intel increases the allied hero's attack rating by thirty percent of her attack rating. So that's all, that one. So basically, this one she gives cards to enemies. When every enemy has a card, she does her ultimate. This one she gives card to allies, which helps them avoid damage and also buffs their attack. Moving on to the next one, the Rapid Vortex. Malkri charges into the enemy side of the battlefield, dealing damage for three hundred percent of her attack rating, knocking uh, back enemies and creating a vortex that lasts for four seconds. This vortex deals damage to enemies within range uh, every 0.5 seconds for 160% of her attack rating. That does go up to 200%. So four seconds, that's eight instances. That's a pretty decent multiplier. Uh, that's actually a really decent multiplier. Uh, and and draws them towards the center. Now it does, uh, oh wait, increases to six seconds. So six seconds, so you got 12 instances of 200%. That is a huge multiplier of damage for AoE. That's not too bad. Uh, level four, summoned, uh, this, is a, this is her um, 30 engraving. Summoned units in the vortex are instantly slain if their health falls below 80%. So a good way to kill some adds. Honestly, I like that ability. It's pretty solid. Passive. When Malkri suffers damage or health loss exceeding 8% of her max health, she becomes immune, consumes the nearest ally's intel, and teleports to them, during which she cannot be targeted. This effect can be triggered once every 4 seconds. So essentially, once every 4 seconds, she has a cheat death. Uh, after uh, avoiding damage, Malkri... Is it a cheat death? No, it's exceeding 8%. So it's not, it, honestly, it would probably be better if it was a, a genuine cheat death. Um, because then you could avoid the deaths, but it is anything above 8%. Honestly, different situations is going to be different, like better with a different uh, style. So, yeah, it's good. 
After avoiding damage, Malkri deals additional damage to her nearest enemy hero, matching the type uh, and amount of the damage avoided. That's actually pretty decent, but it is capped. All these things are always going to be capped. Uh, level 3, Malkri deals additional damage to another enemy hero. If one enemy hero is alive, the damage is doubled. Okay, and then her 60 engraving. When triggering additional damage, Malkri inflicts one challenge on the targeted enemy hero. If they already have a challenge, they are stunned for 3 seconds. Not too bad, we get some extra control. I don't think that's going to be the most important thing on the engraving, which is good. Uh, but, you know, it's still going to be nice to have. Jump into the signature item. Malkri gains 50 energy when she sends a challenge or intel every 100 energy increases her haste by three points so this is basically just increasing her haste faster it's nothing crazy because she will eventually get that energy but there you go for every 100 energy possessed uh haste received by her is increased uh to five points cool beans Level 20, Battle Intel deli uh, delivers an additional letter of Intel, raising the limit to two letters. Normal attacks issue an additional challenge, raising the limit to two challenges. This is good because once she gets all the challenges out, she will be using that ultimate. I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming this means it issues challenges to two enemies at a time. I didn't really check it too well in the, um, in the test period, but we'll have to wait and see. And this is her new level 40 signature item. When Malkyrie's ultimate ultimate skill deals damage each challenge the enemy possesses will reduce their energy by 50 so she gets a bit of energy control on that as well and then finally for her furniture uh, at the battle start she immediately issues one challenge to all enemy heroes which is nice because it means she instantly goes ahead and uses her ult as well because once all enemies have a challenge she's going to use her ult and then for every 100 energy Malkyrie possesses both her and allied heroes will gain four physical pierce so that's not too bad. You're going to be just... It's basically 40 physical piece for her and her allies for the battle, which is pretty decent in my opinion. All right, so let's go in and let's take a look at her. First, let's just dump into the dummy and take a look at her animations. I think she looks pretty cool. She's not using her ult straight away because she doesn't have those things in this little battle, but you can get an idea of it. So there's the vortex that's going to drag enemies in uh, and deal damage. Boom. You get the gist. That's what the skills look like. But now let's go over here... And let's take a look. Now, I've already tried this. The first thing I tried was literally her with a tank because I figured that gives her cheat death activation. Uh, and let's take a look. Don't blink. You'll miss it. So there she goes. She issues all those challenges. Then she uses her ult. Everyone gets stunned. Cool beans. And now she runs around again. She's going to issue all the challenges again. And then she's going to ult again and everything's dead. Um... As always, you can see we, we actually got more damage out of Wormy. So that is the funny thing out of this. Always with these things, it's too hard to gauge in these little battles that we get. Um, so let's go ahead and let's back out. Let's jump in with something other than Wormy. Dude, Wormy OP. Uh, all right, let's go in. And let's do something like, let's just put her in the back corner here. So she doesn't get feared too quick. Let's see how she goes. So there's, there goes all the energy. Obviously, she's going to use her ult because she gets it on everyone. Everyone gets sucked into that vortex, dealing some really nice damage. She's going to ult again here. Uh, I didn't actually know this worked. I tried her in the front row and she insta-died, but that's not too bad. Can we get through the Rigby? Surely, surely we can deal enough damage to kill a Rigby in this type of situation. If we can't, that's when you know your damage is a little bit lackluster. <laughs> like, surely you can kill a Rigby at this low deficit. Come on. Come on. Stop trolling. Stop trolling, dude. She got killed by Rigby. Rigby's OP. So, I mean, that doesn't that, that doesn't scream confidence in her damage when you got Wormy doing the deeps and you can't just kill a Rigby at this low deficit. But, um... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I still think it's a wicked design. Her kit... Like, I still like her kit on paper, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to get into some arena trials and, and test that out. But that is, I've already forgotten her name. It's something that just feels weird to say. Valkyrie. Like, I'm just going to call her Valkyrie. No, but Valkyrie has a Y in it, doesn't it? It's Valkyrie. So is it Valkyrie? Dude, I don't even know how I'm supposed to say it. But you get it. She's, she's, she's surfing. It's pretty cool. I think she's all right. I don't know how viable she's going to be everywhere. But I think she looks cool, but Rigby's just too thick for her to get through is, is pretty much where we're at. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.